Hey there, I'm making a low carb recipe tonight and I thought I'd share it with you. It's one of my favorites. My stepson actually likes it too. And so uh, that is what I'm going to make tonight. It is called Parmesan shrimp, super easy to make and it is really yummy and it's perfect for a low carb diet. But first let's start off this video with showing you my fabulous new shoe. There's Snoopy on my sneakers. <laughs> I found that when I was shopping the other day. I wasn't even looking for them. I was looking for tiki shoes, so I got Snoopy instead. It makes perfect sense. All right, let's get started. The other thing that I wanted to show you is this stuff. First, I'm going to show you the ingredients. Okay, here are the ingredients that you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of finely chopped onion, which I've already done, clove of garlic, we'll be crushing it, salt. Now I don't have ground red pepper, so I'm just gonna use crushed red pepper. White pepper, browned, I have that. Heavy cream, grated Parmesan cheese, low carb ketchup. Now I don't have the, the one I normally have that has Splenda in it. I'm trying to stay away from the fake stuff these days. Uh, this is simply, Heinz, it does not have the corn syrup in it, and it is only four grams of carbs per serving. That's what I'm using, but I usually do use the low carb one, I just don't have any right now. And then one pound of cooked shrimp that's peeled and deveined, which is what I got from Trader Joe's, and I got medium. All right, so I'm gonna take you to the stove where we will start making our recipe. All right, first thing we are going to do, okay, if you don't know how to crush garlic, you just, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smash it with this to, and take the outside off. There it is without the skin. Now I'm just gonna, I wanna crush it. So there's the crushed garlic that I'll be using. Okay, first we're going to melt the butter in the pan. And we'll be sauteing that onion in it. And now I'm going to add the onion, and we're going to saute the onion. And you saute it until it's tender. My pan's really hot now, so it's not going to take very long. Now we're going to add the garlic. All that lovely crushed garlic. It already smells really good squish that. You want to get all the flavor of that garlic, so squish it. And now we have to also add the salt, the red, and the white pepper. You need a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you also need a quarter teaspoon of the ground pepper and the white pepper. There's my red, and here's my white. It, like I said, it does call for ground red. I don't have it in the house, and um, I've used the recipe before. I hate when it does this. And there's the white pepper. I want all those flavors to blend. And I gotta stir in the cream, which is one and a half cups. We need one and a half cups of the heavy cream. The Parmesan cheese goes in here, and the ketchup. So for Parmesan cheese, we need three tablespoons. I like to do rounded tablespoons personally. There's one, there's two, there's three. Keep stirring this around. And that looks good. All right, now we need to add the ketchup, which is three tablespoons of the ketchup. One, two, three. You bring this to a boil, 
And then you're going to reduce the heat. It's starting to boil a little bit in the middle. All right, it's coming to a boil. I don't know if you could see. It's boiling. Now what you do is you stir it occasionally because you don't you don't want to burn the, uh, the the cream. We're going to reduce the heat, which I'm doing now. I'm going to put on low. And then you're going to simmer this for 15 minutes, 15 to 20. You want the sauce to thicken up. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes, and I'll be back after 15 minutes. Okay, so I still have two minutes left on the clock. Um, they said 10, they said 15 to 20 minutes, but this looks really nice and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add the shrimp now. And these are all pre-cooked, so I remember making the mistake once of using non-pre-cooked shrimp, and it made the process a lot longer. So make sure you're buying pre-cooked shrimp. Like just, all you need to do is just dump it in to frost it. All right, so we're stirring in the shrimp, and now we're going to basically defrost all the shrimp in the sauce. And I like when it sits in the, in the sauce for a while because then it absorbs the flavor of the sauce. And this sauce is so good. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I just heated up some leftover broccoli and I'm gonna put the broccoli in with mine. Once this is all heated through, then it is done. And then I'll show you the final product. Okay, so this is the finished product. I put some broccoli in there. And it's got the sauce with the shrimp. Oh my God, that is so good. I just gave a taste to one of uh, my stepson's friends and he even said the sauce is amazing. So what I do is there's a lot of sauce left over. I put it in a Pyrex dish with a cover and I put it, I'll be putting it in the fridge and then I can use that for other stuff. It's really good with eggs too. So, all right, that is your low carb dish. So thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to give me a like and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to put up some more recipes as I make them for anyone else who happens to be following a low carb diet. If you try it and like it, let me know below. Or if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. And I respond right away. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.